It's no secret that learning how to code is challenging. Computers are dumb, so they need very explicit instructions on what to do. One false move, say a stray semicolon on line 567, and your application throws a show-stopping tantrum. But not all programming languages are created equal. In fact, some are really cryptic, like brain f while others seem like you're coding on a cloud with not a care in the world. So of all the programming languages out there, which ones are actually beginner friendly? Number one. Python. Whether you want to do web development, data science, desktop app, scientific computing, or just want to have fun playing around with a multi-paradigm programming language, Python has a lot to offer. When I code in Python, I feel like I'm writing a Cadillac, the quiet storm music gently wafting into my ears as I gaze at the horizon of infinite possibilities ahead of me. Dude, seriously though, Python is arguably one of the easiest languages to work with. Its syntax is concise and compact. There are tons of excellent tutorials and courses, and in my personal experience, Python programmers are some of the friendliest and most helpful people out there. The Python community embraces writing clean, concise, and maintainable code. They even have a word for it, Pythonic. Pros? straightforward syntax, ample tutorials and courses, vibrant community. Cons, few web development positions compared to JavaScript. Number two, Ruby. Aside from having a really cool name, Ruby is renowned for its emphasis on programming productivity and simplicity. Just like Python, Ruby is an interpreted, high-level, general-purpose programming language which supports multiple programming paradigms. Simply stated, it's relatively easy for beginners to jump in and start coding stuff. Everything from 2D games like Flappy Bird and Tetris to more advanced projects like data processing services and automation tools. Ruby also has a web framework called Ruby on Rails, which, although not as popular as it once was, has been used to build some pretty notable web apps, including Airbnb, GitHub, SoundCloud, Shopify, Fiverr, and many others. Pros, elegant syntax, friendly community. Cons, can be tough to debug, job market not as robust as it once was. Number three, Golang. I'll admit, Go probably does have some more complicated bits to the average newbie when compared to a language like Python, but this language still definitely makes the cut. Unlike other languages on this list, Go, or Golang, is a strongly, statically typed, compiled programming language. It was designed at Google with version 1 officially dropping in 2012. While syntactically similar to C, Go includes some extra features like garbage collection and type safety. Some popular applications developed with the help of Go include Docker, Kubernetes, Hugo, CoreDNS, and Uber. With less than 30 keywords and no virtual machine required, Go is a young, hip language that doesn't try to overcomplicate things. Pros, growing community, compiles at ninja speed, so it can be good for short attention spans. The logo is a thick gopher, and Algo Expert says it's for cool kids. Cons, job market not as robust as job JavaScript or Python. Number four, JavaScript. As somebody who was traumatized learning JavaScript, I thought long and hard about including this one on the list. However, JavaScript has come a long way since I first gave myself a migraine attempting to code an auto-currying higher order function back in the day. To make a long story short, JavaScript used to be an but then this thing called ES6 came out in June of 2015. ES6 helped modernize the language so that it became much easier to work with. For example, it gave us things like arrow functions, the class keyword, template literals, promises, the let and const keywords, and much more. JavaScript was created in only 10 days back in 1995, and occasionally its quirks can be apparent. For example, true minus true, that equals zero. Duh. That said, JavaScript has two things that I think make it one of the best programming languages for beginners. One, the documentation, and two, the community. If you've ever tried using other programming languages documentation, not naming names, the official JavaScript docs feel like an oasis in the desert. The MDN web docs are clean, well organized, contain ample examples and tutorials, and are regularly updated. And if you ever get stuck, you can always reach out to the JavaScript community. This community is big. It's active. Whether you join a local JavaScript meetup, snuggle up for some JavaScript script tutorials on YouTube, or find some cool peeps on Discord, help is nearly always available. In my opinion, JavaScript has an amazing support system that makes this language newbie friendly in 2022. Pros, documentation, community, consistent updates. Cons, can be quirky, and prototypal inheritance can be confusing. And finally, number five, Scratch. If you've tried learning programming with a language like Python but still feel totally
totally lost? Consider giving Scratch a try. Scratch is a block-based visual programming language. Basically, you drag and drop blocks of code to build digital stories, games, and animations. Designed for kids learning how to code, it's super newbie friendly. Instead of teaching you the inner workings of functions and loops, for example, you'll build your computational thinking and problem solving skills. Think of Scratch like the bunny hill before you attempt the black diamond at the ski resort. That way, when you upgrade to learning a programming language like Python or JavaScript, you're already thinking like a programmer before you code your first line. Pros, drag and drop interface, designed for young people, so it's very newbie friendly. Cons, not a skill most employers are hiring for, so you'll probably need to learn another language. Now, if I had to pick any one language off of this list, it would be Python. It's seemingly everywhere, its community embraces good, clean, Pythonic coding principles, and for me, it's just really fun to code with. Whereas sometimes I feel like I'm Sonya fighting Reptile in Mortal Kombat when I work with JavaScript, when I'm working with Python, it's like we're just hanging out. Only I'm telling it what to do 24 seven, but you know. But no matter what programming language you ultimately decide on, your coding journey should be enjoyable. So relax, have fun, and go code some cool stuff. I'm RTC. Thanks for watching.